That's what it is. You're right, it's not a soap dish. And this one handle with its hole in is quite possibly a point not only where you would hold it, but also where you would hang it up on the wall. Now, date. Any idea of date? I think it's old. <laughs> it is old. Um, this is 18th century. Uh, the bleeding bowl, and that's what it is, comes into the English repertoire in Delftware sometime towards the end of the 17th century. And this piece, which I'm going to date on the basis of the decoration, is more into the 18th century. Of course, bloodletting was the thing you did to your patient when you thought you could ease their rheum or their choleric, whatever. You thought there was something wrong with their blood, so you lanced a vein and you put the bleeding bowl on it like this. You probably wouldn't do it in your own home. You'd go to the barbers. The barber would shave you and bleed you. And so the barber's pole, which has that red and white stripe, represents the bandage and the blood of his profession. I see, I see. This is a bleeding bowl such as he might have used. You paid, what, 15p? 25. 25p. Well, it was, it was chipped, after all, so yes. that, was, that was quite well, nice. She, she gave me a rather pitying look, I thought, that, I, she? that I needed to buy something that was chipped. <laughs> she gave you a pitying look? Yes. Now the tables are going to be turned. Do you know what it's worth? <laughs> well, I mean, do you think it's more? Or... Well, I know my husband tells me, don't buy any more rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't listen to your husband at all, because you've done very well. This is probably worth somewhere in the region of five to six thousand pounds. <laughs> really? I'll just move it to one side. <laughs> I can't believe that. You did very well. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I didn't want to shock you. Are you sure? I am, yes. <laughs> I'll go and get nice. you a cup of tea. <laughs>